Hey guys, Chief Rudy here, and here's a brand new episode of Experiments. In this episode, I'm going to try to make a dubstep growl or a high-pitched squeal out of a kick drum. So I don't have any idea how I'm going to do this, just like in most experiments. Um, well, not really, because this is the second one I filmed. Um, I haven't done these very much. But um, anyways, out of a kick drum, something like this, I'm going to try to make a bass growl or a high-pitched squeal that would be used in a dubstep drop. So... I'm going to select a kick sample here. So I'm going to try to find something that has a lot of low tones as well as a lot of high tones in the kick itself. This one's... I'm going to try starting with this 909 kick here. So I'm going to try to isolate the low tones and the high tones here. So I'm going to put this into an Edison. And I'm kind of going for a high-pitched squeal, more or less, rather than a bass growl, since a lot of kicks are mainly sub, and then I'm probably not going to work with that. So, let's see here. So now let's get rid of the mixer, and drop the kick in here. So I have it in an Edison now. So now I'm going to want to find the EQ equalizer. So this is the low tones, and the high tones are up here, so let's isolate maybe from 10k upwards. Well, that might actually be a lot. Let's see. Let's do... Let's pull this one up. Oh, this is on draw mode. Let's see, is there any way to get this off of draw mode? Yeah, there it is. Draw mode just makes it kind of hard sometimes, so I'm going to go from 10k up. Let's get rid of these. And let's preview. Okay, so that's just a click. So maybe let's go like 5k up. From 5k to above. About here. Okay, that's still, that's really high too. Um, but this is an experiment, so I'm seeing what works. Okay, there's a lot of these. Because that when I was drawing, I got rid of, I made a bunch. So let's delete those. Let's go from 2k up. I think this might kind of work. So I'm going to accept that and produce that. So it is there in the playlist. Now I'm going to put the original kick back in and go from 2k downwards. So it'll be like this. So let's see here. So this will be everything except for the high frequencies, and let's see which one sounds better. Oh, take those out. That already kind of sounds like a bass growl. Okay, let's accept that. Oh, I need to preview it. Uh, save it. So I need to render this. Okay, and render that. So I have two bass sounds here. So, why is it sounding all weird? Is it playing in the Edison? No, I'm going to disable the Edison for now. So, with both of these combined, this will be the exact kick sound because I'm using all the EQ here. Where here is only using half, and here I'm only using half, so when separately, they'll sound different, but when you add them together, it'll be the whole spectrum there. So. I think I'm going to start with trying to make a growl out of this low tone and then maybe go to the high tone if that doesn't work out. So I'll call this one low. And let's put it on to track two. Track two there. Okay. So that's what we have. So I'm thinking maybe go on EQ. Okay, so it's going from the mids is about the highest frequency in it. So there's not too many highs in here, which does make sense since I cut those out. And then the Vocodex. Where's the Vocodex? Oh, this is the, okay, here it is. That sounds a little odd. Okay. Let's see, that has a lot of sub. 
Uh, it still has a lot of sub bass in there. I'm gonna take that out. Let's so maybe even load up another EQ to take out more. It's like right. This that's where it settles. So I'm gonna put this on an order for eight and cut out that part. And I'm gonna put this as well as on an order of eight. Now it's sounding a little bit closer, but um, let's see. There's a little bit of a growl in there. Right here. Yeah, there it is. Now I need to remove some more bass. So there's that initial hit with it. I want to try getting rid of that. Let's see, just reset that. I'll put this on an order of eight. This is also getting pretty loud. I'm gonna put a limiter on there. Let's see, look at that signal coming in. So now the only problem is this is a really short sample. So, I th I'm going to put a little bit of reverb on here. That doesn't really help. So what I was thinking was putting on the reverb and then lengthening it, but that didn't work. So I'm just going to go right to an Edison again. And let's record. Okay, so I really just need one. So I'll delete those. So I have this sample here. Let's take off that beginning and as little of the end as we can. So it looks like it ends right around, let's see, zoom out a bit, right around. So all this is dead space. Okay, right here. So I'll cut out that. Let's go to the intro and cut out this. Oh, dang it. Okay. Now let's go to this EQ again and put these back in. And let's see what would happen if we took out these lows. Like this. See, maybe a little bit more, maybe like 500 plus. Maybe, is my, I don't know. No, that didn't really do anything. So let's go back to 200. Right around 200 is where it was sounding, it was sounding better around here. Maybe it was a little bit more, like right here. And then boost these. Accept that. And then now I'm thinking of rendering this out again to this. Okay, now let's stretch it, pull it out. And it's not playing anything. doesn't seem to play when stretched out. I was really expecting it to. Okay, so I'm gonna render this out again. Um, on track two. 
render that out. And I probably stretched it too much. So, see what it sounds like with that. So now it's just too low. Okay, that kind of sounds like a gunshot in the beginning. But this is getting closer. That almost sounds like a saw wave. Um, okay, good. I didn't delete that. I thought I did for a little bit. Um, so now... I want to cut off this drum shot part. So now... What is this on track two? Okay. What does it sound like without the effects? So, I'm going to load in another EQ, and let's put on a high pass tape, high pass, so I'm going to take off the stretch now and just keep this part. Now let's see if we can do... No, that won't work. Um, let's see, what about reversing it? There we go. Okay, that's out of a kick drum. That's sounding pretty good. Um, how about this Vocodex? thing. Okay, this is sounding pretty good. Now, I'm going to see what it sounds like with the less pitch increase. does sound pretty growly. Um, now let's see if we can get any drums in. Here's the original kick. It's definitely way off time, but this does sound like a bass growl. Let's try something more like this. And 
buttons put up the pitch. That is a little too much. Wait, that was, that was the end. This one I feel needs some variations. So maybe just mess with the out. So this is all a kick. So this turned out pretty well. The first episode I did of experiments where I tried to get the snare drum to turn to noise. That didn't turn out very well, but this this actually turned out much better than I was expecting. I was kind of thinking that I was before this episode that I would just isolate the high frequencies of this kick and make like a little squeal, but I was able to make like a whole growl here. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and you can leave down a comment in the comment section below if you'd have any, um, what you'd like to see for uh, future experiment episodes, like if you'd like to see me make like something out of a hi hat, or like something out of a tom, or like a or, or a drum set sound like out of a lead or something, just like whatever you can think of. I'd love to hear what you'd like to th um, what you'd like to see for future experiment episodes. Um, and this one worked out pretty well. The first one where I tried to make the noise out of a snare drum that didn't work out too well. This one did, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Until then, bye!